Hi everyone and welcome along to today's quick fix. We're going to do a really fun, quick idea that's great for all the family uh, for potential Halloween parties coming up. So we've got a piece of cardboard, mine's about 11 by 12 centimetres and what I've done is I've found the midpoint halfway up and I've marked it out, I've drawn a line but I haven't actually put pencil in the middle there because what I want to do is I want to paint a very quick and simple pumpkin in the middle. So easy pumpkins. Well, I've got cadmium orange and what I'm doing here is I'm just creating a sort of central shape, really nice and rough. And then I'm just using the side of the brush and a little bit of unpainted space to create the rest of the pumpkin shape and it starts to take shape as you can see. The size 4 brush I think is perfect for this. And we can just sort of keep on building that shape out until we're happy with it. The key thing is that it's sort of right in the middle there and uh, creating a nice shape might just pop a little bit of cadmium red there, bring it down, make it a little bit bigger. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn this pumpkin into a pop-up place card, which I'm very excited about. So what's important is that you've painted this pumpkin so that it pops up over the halfway line. There we go, happy with that. And then of course we need a pumpkin stalk. I think green gold is quite nice for this. Very much using the unpainted space to my advantage, creating sort of detail and lines just by what we're not painting. And a little bit of burnt sienna there. Okay, so we want to allow that to dry and then we're going to cut it out. Yeah, well, you'll see what I mean. So now we're going to do a little bit of cutting. Now either you can use a pair of detail scissors or if you are uh, well versed in using a scalpel, anyone under 18, uh, you want to make sure you've got an adult uh, supervising if you're using a scalpel. You must have a cutting mat underneath. But what we're going to do is we're going to cut around the top half of the pumpkin until it meets that pencil line we've drawn. And so what's going to happen is that half of the pumpkin's going to pop up. And then we're going to score that side and have ourselves a folded down pop-up pumpkin. Now you can see from the side camera that this is now a lovely pop-up card um, that will be a perfect place setting at a Halloween party. And now it's time to decorate. Now whether you want to carve a face in your pumpkin or you want to do some decoration on it like we did with the folk art pumpkin last week, it's completely up to you. You can use fine line pens or you could get some Mars Black in your palette. And I'm going to just do some little triangular eyes. And a nice toothy grin. And then we can just fill that in there. I kind of like the eyes as they are in a way. They look like they've got a little bit of a character to them, leaving them. There we go. But yeah, like I say, you can do that with pen. Do that with the uh, fine line pens or the or whatever, or the paintbrushes. Um, but then if you want, you can use it as a place card for a party. So we need to write someone's name in. 
uh, I'm going to choose pin here and then can just write in in a slightly quirky font. And there we have a quick fix pumpkin pop-up place card. <laughs>